Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Right, I'm in Bangladesh, lovely and sunny weather. It's sort of midday. I mean, look out there. I'm in the village and with the livestock, cows, etc. I know in England, everybody's walking their dogs here in Bangladesh. People walk their cows. I mean, look at them. These are beautiful. Uh, one of the lads is feeding the cows and I love the organic lifestyle in Bangladesh. So I'm going to show you a little um, my journey from London Heathrow all the way to Silet, Bangladesh. And I'm going to show you this series. I'm going to try to show uh, as much as village life and food culture of Siletis in Bangladesh. And I'm from Bishwanath, a certain part of Bangladesh. Started my journey, London Heathrow, the Biman counter was wasn't as busy as normal because I went um, I got to the airport three hours before service was fantastic uh, I was quite surprised I flew on premium economy maybe they, they I don't know they maybe treated us better like a business class or, or whatever the airport was wasn't as busy as normal as well which was pretty good loads of places to shop loads of restaurants you can have loads of coffee etc so yeah going to the gates um, everything was very organized uh, which I really enjoyed in this experience flying to um, select so far so good uh, premium um, economy class um, I was quite surprised with the leg room armrests so loads of space normally I might flew in Biman premium economy so it weren't great so nine and a half hours journey, I was glad there was a bit of space. Um, started the journey with a cup of tea, which was pretty good. They actually made a, a decent cup of tea, um, to be fair. Sometimes it can be too watery. First meal of the day, uh, there was a choice of lamb and vegetable, I think. Um, I chose the lamb, being a meat eater, and the food was pretty decent. Pretty decent, let me show you. was surprisingly seasoned very well nice and soft uh, the rice was quite fluffy and the options were pretty good um, had a coleslaw which I don't it didn't really go well with the curry um, so yeah I started off with the bread and butter I love a nice piece of bread and loads of butter but the butter was uh, proper frozen and I couldn't um, I, it needed to be room temperature in order to butter it up but I just smashed it in and uh, had a bite of it. Check this out. like to say a big thank you to Biman Airways to show it for showing us the 2022 World Cup I mean Argentina Australia was a fantastic atmosphere on the plane to be uh, honest really enjoyed it right after a good sleep had a lovely breakfast the options were a plain omelette and a chicken masala guess what I was hungry so I went for the chicken masala um, they gave a nice piece of bread. I really enjoyed that piece of uh, bread. And um, there was croissant, uh, tinned fruit, and um, let me show you the curry. My friend is having chicken omelette, mushrooms, croissant. Beautiful. I'm having chicken masala. Touchdown, sunny Bangladesh, proper 
good weather. It's winter time in Bangladesh. However, in midday, it's normally a bit sunny and it's 20 plus te uh, temperature. We landed about 10 uh, 30 a.m. So I was quite surprised with the sunny weather. It was very welcoming. It wasn't as busy, which was uh, very good for us. Uh, the service was quite swift. I mean, we were one of the first people off the plane, so the service was fantastic. The bags uh, came out on time. I was very surprised with the service. It was it was very good. Normally, it's chaotic, hectic, and uh, loads of people shouting, screaming. But as you can see, nice and peaceful. We got our luggage, and uh, yeah, it was a very good experience. Bangladesh lovely jumped on my seven seater loads of tuk tuks loads of cars it was early in the morning before midday it's not as busy and chaotic so the traffic uh, normally is so many horns beeping everywhere but yeah it was very serious <laughs> the scenery was fantastic uh, the people were smiling. It was a very nice experience landing um, in Bangladesh. Look at the village. Loads of greenery, nature, amazing. Stopped off uh, to buy some mishti and nitai for the locals. Check this out. right i just had to stop and um, i came near my village saw some of my lads uh, what they were doing and um, i just thought i'd show you this uh, humbling experience i mean um, rice uh, farming is the main agriculture of bangladeshi people and my lads are doing the same um, this is where these this machine actually separates the grains from the hay the hay is used obviously for the cows to eat and the grain uh, for rice i mean look at this fantastic experience really humbling the guys are working so hard and this is the harvest season of bangladesh it's called agon mash so it's towards the end of november december this is where they collect most of the rice for the whole year fantastic experience such hard work these guys look at this i mean very hard work for one grain which we take advantage of so yeah now check my village out beautiful <laughs> So he's feeding the cows lunchtime. Look at these beautiful creatures, hello mate. Amazing. Amazing. Right, I built a cooking pot for these lads. They're gonna be eating from here. This is their big massive pot. We cook uh, the food for the cows. Lychee tree, these are some green beans. Check these out. Look at that hand reach. These are going to be gourds. Wow, organic chicken farm. These lay fresh eggs for me every day. I'll actually show you a little recipe of the eggs. Look at these. Hello people. This is the lifestyle of Bangladesh. Amazing. Tao Sasa? Yeah, yeah.
Just cleaning the cow house, just temporary outside. The cows are temporary outside while they wash their house. Got some fans on. So when it's nice and hot, the cows get some good fresh air. These are some other, these are the dairy cows. For my fresh milk early in the morning. Hello beautiful lady. You okay? This is a Jersey type cow. Eating fresh grass and a bit of hay. Wonderful. They've also got fans for air conditioning. <laughs> now on top, on top where you can see all those plaques of wood okay, is the hay house. Yeah. So these are all the milking cows and the other house is all where all the young lads are, the naughty okay. boys. These are beautiful cows. Amazing. Village life in Bangladesh. Right people, that was my little journey all the way from the UK to Bangladesh and I'm showing you little clips of Bangladesh. I'm really enjoying myself and I can't wait to vlog a few more videos for you guys. I'm going to do some simple cooking and simple lifestyle in Bangladesh. And if you enjoy it, if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos at Latif's Inspired. I hope you enjoyed it. Really appreciate your support and I can't wait to make the next video. See you soon.